welcome to my channel. This is Reading Truth to Roll by Clara. I am Clara, and today we are reading truth. Today we're going to read for the sign of Leo. Leo, welcome to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Sorry, but it's just every time I try to get out all my readings, something comes up and I end up getting distracted from them. I, I promise you. Oh, Leo, you may you may meet either a boss type um someone who could be an entrepreneur someone who has their finances together is very loyal could be a capricorn male could be an older person you also have a younger person here could be a pisces um with the page of cubs scorpio or cancer stuck in their head about you wanting to give you like this and so, or someone could even be married so someone may have to stay stuck always thinking about you. Someone could always think about you, but someone is in love with you because this flipped in my hand. So the Ace of Cups is here for you. So love is here for you, but for some reason, communication is in the block. Yeah. This could be someone at work. This could be a boss because they're working together. And Capricorn, that, that King of Pentacles could be, I mean, Libra, that... Libra, oh my god, Leo, that could be, sorry guys, Leo, that could be um, like a boss figure, that person may even have options, you may have options here, but it's like they're choosing you, but you may be on the defensive, you may uh, guard yourself against this person here, look at her face, she's not having it, the wheel of fortune is turning for you, so great things will be coming in for you, uh, Leo, yeah, someone has, I, I feel like someone here is crushing on you. It may be a colleague, someone you work with, has big love for you, ready to offer up everything for you. This is a secret. This is something that's hidden. You may feel the same, you may not, but this is something that's hidden. Someone has deep, feet, deep feelings for you here. Leo, what's going on? Talk to me. So we have Knight of Pentacles and Hopes and Fears. Maybe you're worrying that this person may come in too slow, you know, that it's not going to happen. But then there's going to be a shocking turn of events. So there's going to be a shocking thing. There's going to be like a transformation within this communication, this relationship. Something's going to shock you here with the world. Things are going to change. It's going to be an ending of an old cycle and a beginning of a new. You may even have people at work that are in competition with you over this person or trying to pull you down basically to get to this person using tactics, whatever, because they see you climbing ahead and this person, this boss energy prefers you out of everyone here. But everyone is trying to pull you back down. Like, where are you going? Haters. Yeah, but you're, you're defending your energy, you're defending your character, your work, you know, who you are. You have ethics, you're an ethical person. <clears throat> you just need patience with the temperance card here in Sagittarius. The, the universe is making a way for, me, for you. If you want this person, you can have them. If not, you know, that's okay too. Yeah, because you're going to be sitting, if you're not already sitting in this Queen of Pentacles energy of having money, being grounded, celebrating, having celebrations, coming together. This person may want to reunite with you or come together with you, but feels blocked for some reason to come towards you. What is the message for the Queen of Pentacles? Look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning in your favor. This person wants to turn things around. This person wants to take this. I say this is a, prof a professional atmosphere. This person wants to change that and wants to make it into more of a romantic situation. They look at you romantically. Yeah, the King of Cups. You have the, the Page of Cups with the King of Cups. So even if this person is younger than you, they have big love energy for you, a more mature energy. This is not a child. Yeah. In the block, they want to come with a message towards you, a, a little passion, a little flirtatious message here, but, but it's in the block. Yeah, they see success with you. They want it all with you. They want love and they want success with you and they want you by, them side, by their side to do that. I don't know what happens. I read tarot and sometimes I get tongue-tied. Yeah. In the blog, 
they could have felt like you had your guards up. You were blocking them from really coming near you. But this person is willing to work with you. Yeah. Again, someone wants to celebrate, reconcile. Someone may want to come back to you. You know, someone even that probably even cheated in the past have multiple options. Someone from your past may also want to come back and reunite with you. But you know they're a cheater or they like dealing with different women or getting into different situations. Uh, yeah, the judgment card. So you, you, you're making a judgment here. Judgment seems to be a no for you. But if you take it, there's the Ten of Cups with everything changing in your favor. You get family, you get happiness, you get home, you get to move, you get to have a good life. What is it for the Moon card here? One and eight equal nine. So you're someone's wish fulfillment. Someone is like longing for you. Yeah, with the with the uh, Eight of Wands again. Again, someone wants to communicate their feelings to you with the moon card here representing Pisces. This is like deep emotions here. Someone wants to communicate these deep emotions to you. This person may even feel like you feel the same as them. Yeah, this person is coming in slowly in hopes and fears because they want to offer you this big money. This is again the King of Pentacles. You may be dealing with a King of Pentacles. Remember, there's multiple people here, like a lot of people here. So a lot of signs are going to pop up. Take what resonates again. Yeah, there's going to be a shocking thing here. And it's going to be in your finances, I feel. I feel like this person is not just going to uh, bring in love, but they're going to bring you that increase in money and you will see your money grow. So if you really haven't felt like your money was growing or anything, it is going to be growing now. You also have the Ace of Wands as well. So new opportunities is coming in. Someone sees you with a lot of passion. Again, someone may want to even propose to you, make an offer, whether it be to go out or to get engaged. Whatever the case, if you're actually dating someone, they may want to even get married, get engaged. But they may feel that you are kind of blocked off, like you block them off in a sense. If I repeat myself, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just spirit has me doing that from time to time or speaking too fast where I get literally out of breath. So you'll hear heavy breathing. All right. If this is someone you deal with, whether it's your a coworker, a new love, whatever, they say they read all your conversations. I read all our conversations and look at all your pictures. They could be stalking you on like social media. If you have social media, I can't get enough of you. This person may love to look at you, be around you. If you've been with them intimately, they think about that. This connection is divine and guided. I can't take the separation any longer. This person is about to burst. I never felt the way I feel about you. That's major for me. That is major. That's, that just screams love. Someone could have a lot of burdens and stresses on them, but I feel like that's going to go away. Money is going to come in. Things are changing for the better, for the good. Give this person, you know, a chance. Let them come in because this person may be your person. Let me do these because these were from my last read. It may be more than one person trying to come back in honeymoon. Look, someone wants to like literally get married, go on a honeymoon. There could have been some kind of religious factors or differences between you and someone. Someone you could have been with maybe in the past, but you had differences about you. Yes, yeah, let's release your ex. So if there's any exes lingering, just release them. Go ahead and release them if you can. Heart to heart conversation. Someone ha wants to have a heart to heart conversation about how they feel. Keep an open mind. So this person may not be your usual type, but this person is a good person. This person will be the one. This could be the one. This may be different than your usual type, but this could be the one. 
Pay attention to any red flags around you with people, situations, especially coworkers, because I feel like you have jealous coworkers around you, smiling in your face, and then like, you know, hating on you behind your back. I hate that type. Anyway. So, Leo, this is what I have for you. Namaste, love and light. God bless. And then until next time. I don't know what I just said. I got tongue-tied. Bye.